Alright, so, Katura-san, a show which went from being this... ...to this. If you have no idea what Katura-san is, it is a 12 episode anime which was released as part of the winter season. Before its release, people sort of expected that it was just your classic romantic comedy with a female character who could read other people's minds, which was an interesting gimmick. But that all changed when the first episode came out. Katura-san's first episode begins with our protagonist, Katura, a young teenage girl who can read people's minds. And this gets Katura into a lot of trouble. In the first minutes of this show, it's really powerfully depicted how her ability to read people's minds is negatively affecting her and everyone around her. People go out of their way to avoid her, to bully her, and to just make her feel bad. It gets to a point where she starts losing friends and ultimately loses her parents. As you saw in the clip from before, it all gets to her. She explodes and is completely broken. Manabe-kun is our romantic interest. He's a guy in Kutura's new class who is completely perverted and absolutely interested in Kutura. This becomes Kutura's first link to another human being since childhood, pretty much. She depends on Manabe, and in turn, Manabe cares a lot for Katura. The series explores Katura trying to make connections with other people, and these very first episodes see how she's starting to do that again and build up her confidence. She goes from struggle to struggle, and she overcomes them, and the series basically follows along this line. But it does it in an odd way, and this is probably why a lot of people felt a bit different about Katura as it got further in. Katura-san is one of those series which genre jumps, meaning it sort of goes from genre to genre. It started off as a really powerful drama, then it sort of went into a comedy, then a romantic comedy, then it sort of went into a mystery thriller, and by the end of the series we just had a family drama. Quite interesting how it fits all of that into just one tiny 12 episode show. But the driving force of this show is the characters and how interesting they are. You have Katura who's just struggling with all these people. You have Manabe who's just this selfless idiot. This ensemble cast is brilliant and the dialogue between them, fantastic. The screen writing for this show is top notch. There are some low points and there are some forgettable characters. In the end, if it had been any different, I don't think it would have been half as good. I actually showed this to a friend of mine who doesn't really watch anime, and straight after, they wanted to watch the next episode. And I like a show that can do that, can make people want to keep on watching. Katura-san was really good at that, and it's also got me wanting another season. Perhaps with Moritani as a main character, I know she was an evil super bitch at the beginning. Katura-san, the show which, though it tries to be a lot of things, it never once is dishonest with itself and it deserves some attention. So that's been my impression of Katura-san over the last, oh, how many weeks has it been? Please let me know if you, what you thought of the show or whether you're thinking of watching it. Thanks for watching and until next time, I hope you have a lovely day and bye.